So now we are able to list all our bookmarks whenever we make a GET request to slash bookmarks. So in this one, we are going to, to go ahead and implement pagination on this list. Us being able to send a thousand records at once over a network will be costly in terms of the user's data. So what we want is to be able to allow the front end to request a specific number of items and also on a specific page. So what we're going to do here is uh, just maximize this. So right now the way we are querying this is we are doing query by the current logged in user. But also what we want is we want to be able to paginate. Now to be able to paginate, we are going to need two things. One will be the page we want to get records from. Another one will be the will be the per page count. I'm going to first get the page of the of the records we are, we are trying to get from the front end. So we can get that one from ags. So we're gonna do request dot ags. Then we want to do get page. So by default, our page is gonna be one. And then we are gonna type it to an int. So we're gonna be type equals int. So if the user doesn't send the page, we we'll just default to sending them page one, okay? But if they send it, then that's gonna be the page we query by. So now that we have the page, let's also get the per page, just so we know how to limit our query. So we can do per page, it's gonna be request dot ads, then let's get per page. So per page, the default is gonna be five. Then let's also type it as an int. So now that we have this on the query we made, we can go and do paginet. So we can do paginet. So paginet takes in two things. One will be the page. So we can do page equals equals the page and also the per page. So per page, we already have that. Let's do per page. So that's gonna keep working the same, but now we also want to be telling the front end that, hey, there are some other pages that you might want to check out. So down here, I'm going to have a property called meta. So I'm gonna set it to a dictionary. Now, one of the things that we're gonna be sending back to the front end is the current page. So we can just send the page. So to get the current page, we can get that from the bookmarks. So we can do bookmarks. That's gonna be page. Then the next thing we're gonna need to send is the number of pages that are there. We can also send like the total number of items. So that's gonna give us like all of them. Then something else that you might work with is uh, the previous number. So if you are like on page two, the previous number would be one. So that is obvious to get even when you're on the front end, but let's go ahead and send it for the user. So to get prev, we prev number. So to get the previous one, we just do prev num. So for the next, we can also send back the next page by doing next. I'm gonna call it next page actually. Also this can be prev page. So we also have some other properties like has next or has previous, which I think we can also send just so we can look at how they how they work. So has next. So in the bookmarks we have has next. We also have has prev. So has prev, that's what we want to check here. So let's go ahead and save this now. Now that we have the meta, we can go ahead and when we send back our data, we can go ahead and send back the meta. So here we can send meta. So now if we go back to our postman and we try to get this, we can see that our token has expired. So let's go ahead and refresh and create a new and login again. In the in a real app, you would have a strategy to automatically refresh it just so we don't ever get that token expired message. So now let's go over here. Let's go over here and change back the token to use a valid one and make a request. You can start to get this error that pagination object is not iterable. And the, reason why, and the reason why we are getting that error is whenever we paginate, so whenever we paginate on our query, we get more things sent back to us. Now, the data itself or the bookmarks themselves, they are sent back to us in a, in a, in a key called items. So it's, and then these are the things. So these are the things like has prev, pages, page, those ones are also in those specific keys. But the data is in bookmarks.items. So that's what we want to so that's what we want to now loop through. So I'm gonna come here and now make the same request. And now you can see that we get data being sent to us. So down here you can see that we have the a new meta property and it has all these details for us. Now I'm gonna go here and actually create more just so we can test out the pagination. So just allow me to quickly change this and just have some more URLs to work with. Okay, so now we have more than more than two pages. So if you do a get request again, 
you should be able to see that we get only five sent back to us and we can see that has next is true has previous is false and we are still on page one but if we wanted to request page two so to request page two you can see here in our code we said that we can send the page so we can send it as as an argument so in postman we can do a query and we send page equals let's say two so when we say page equals two notice that now we are sent all the details that are on page two and you can see that now we have some previous that we skipped some previous items that we skipped so if we requested page three notice that we have on the notice that we have only 11 items so page three should only contain only one item so if you go to page three you should be able to see that now you should be able to see that we only have one item sent back to us and if we wanted to adjust how many we request we can just come and add and put an ampersand then we say per page so per page let's say we want all of them but now that means page 3 won't have any so if we do that you can see we get this 404 so if we request page 1 we should be able to get all of them sent at once so those are the basics of how to paginate now thanks guys for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next one